a very good evening and om shanti to all of you listeners welcome back to 8th of june's godly blessing where supreme god father wants us to use yoga now yoga doesn't mean doing just physical exercises yoga actually means being connected to the supreme being by considering the self as a soul so it's a union between the soul in this body that we are and the supreme creator the supreme soul whom people call him as god or cosmos or energy or whatever they feel like but then we say that he is supreme creator god the father so god says over here in today's blessing may you increase all your treasures by experimenting with yoga and become a successful tapasvi experiment with yoga using all the treasures you have received from the father now the treasures are the knowledge that we have received the eight powers and all the virtues which we have received from the father that means thinking or pondering over those powers those different knowledge points and also on the different 36 virtues of a soul when we have complete tapasya on each one of them we go deep into it then they increase in terms of our thoughts in our mind so god says your experimentation is to have less expense of the treasures and greater attainment for instance time and thoughts are elevated treasures so use less thoughts but let there be greater attainment so by thinking less one can attain more that means that one can think pure thoughts powerful thoughts virtuous thoughts instead of thinking wasteful thoughts doubtful thoughts impure thoughts and wasting both thought energy and time energy so god says ordinary people achieve success after thinking about something for 2 to 4 minutes they'll ponder over it they'll have a tussle within they'll have a impure and pure thinking tussle between but then they'll come to a conclusion maybe after 2 to 4 minutes but sometimes they take even more cause is whereas you carry out the task in 1 or 2 seconds this can only happen when our mind and intellect is completely clear and our heart is completely clear we don't have any kind of deceiving motives or any kind of evil motives within then that decision can be taken in just 1 or 2 seconds instead of 2 to 4 seconds for an ordinary person when you have a greater result using less time and fewer thoughts you will be said to be a successful tapasvi who experiments with yoga so think about it you're think making a decision for your child you can have fear you can have worry you can have concern you can have impure thinking or negative thinking regarding your child that maybe he's not worthy maybe he is not so intelligent and to make a decision you have taken 2 to 4 to 10 minutes thinking all those thoughts whereas if you are a tapasvi soul you will focus on what is good in that soul who is a child in this life in your family focus on the strength of the child remove the fear remove the attachments and the fear will go each child has got their own destiny and we are just trustees taking care of the child guiding them in the right direction or what we think is the right direction only when we know what are the strengths of that soul within automatically your decision will be taken in just a few seconds instead of worrying being concerned focusing on what they don't have in their life or what they are bad at what bad habits they have so that 2 to 4 minutes will be focusing on negative and the 1 or 2 second will be focusing on the positive or the best qualities that child has just for example so you can think about it for same areas in your life and focus on them and make your decisions faster with the power of tapasya for that you have to learn the seven day brahma kumari's raj yoga course where your mind and intellect is made made cleaner with lesser number of impure thoughts and more powerful so that you can make decisions instantly with this om shanti